Okay. Seems like you're getting um, some action movies as well now. Um, so how was it for you filming the action sequences in, in this movie? Uh, you know, there's an old cliche uh, from acting school, which is that if you get nervous on stage as an actor, pick up a prop because it will immediately relax you if you're holding on to something. And so I think of like action movies like um, as like a kind of very massive example of that. It's very hard to like get nervous and it's very easy to lose yourself in the character in a wonderful way when there's something physical that's happening. Uh, so I'm doing a play right now uh, in, in London and uh, uh, it's a very physical performance and so it is a kind of uh it's very easy to lose myself in the character if you're just sitting in a chair you know um uh brooding or worrying about you know or you know or as a character worrying about your life it's uh it's a little harder to like kind of seamlessly integrate so i love any time there's something physical to do and in now you see me too there's really no shortage of that uh the best scene and now you see me too features these uh illusionists uh who uh, i play in woody harrelson dave franco lizzie kaplan uh uh trying to pass this card um to each other while we're getting um pat down by the guards it's just a phenomenal scene in the movie and uh it was so kind of easy for us to do as actors because we had to pay attention to all this physical stuff and so we were never distracted by our own kind of, uh, I don't know, just concerns. You mentioned earlier to me that David Copperfield was a uh, co-producer on this uh, movie. What do you feel, what do you think about the parts of the movie that he supervised? Well, I mean, I think David Copperfield's great contribution to this movie is um, is that he really created uh, an aesthetic around magic uh, that is wholly his own. Um, he created uh, illusions um, that were not just kind of confounding to an audience, but that were really beautiful to look at. And what we wanted to do with this movie is create a real kind of visual uh, theme for the illusions, that they would not only uh, be great trickery, but also aesthetically interesting and beautiful um, because, you know, film is a visual medium and if you're just watching magicians do magic on film, it's not that interesting. But if the magic that they're doing is beautiful um, and has some kind of theatrical element to it, then it transcends magic and becomes something that's really uh, uh, filmic and visually arresting. And so David Copperfield, I think, had a wonderful contribution to not only to the kind of the plot line of the movie, but really to the kind of aesthetic of the imagery. Did he teach you any any, any tricks at all? Any illusions? No. Um, you know, David Copperfield I, is an incredibly uh, secretive guy, uh, but he had some of his um, uh, former colleagues uh, um, kind of work with us and train us, and I, as a very prying uh, a curious person made sure they told me how things were done. <laughs> That's good. Uh, again, would you mind giving a message into the camera? What can the audience expect from this movie, the Japanese fans in Japan? Oh, sure. Okay. Um, uh, hi, I'm Jesse Eisenberg from the new movie Now You See Me Too, saying hello to the audience in Japan. I really hope you like this movie. Uh, there is an amazing scene where it rains on me and I almost got hypothermia and uh, I hope you like the movie as much as it uh, almost killed me. <laughs>